Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am here with a box from Poptopia. What did we get this time? Let's pop on over there and take a look. Okay, so this was the Poptopia's mini mystery box. Unfortunately, I ordered two and I forgot. I think they put them in here unboxed, which in my opinion is not a true mystery box. You're definitely gonna get screwed. They probably would never make sure you got two chases. I mean, there's a lot of things that scream not a legit mystery box when they package them. Take two individual boxes and put them in the same box. Yeah, there's something really not legit about that. And unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I screwed up and I ordered two and that's what they do. It's 20 boxes. There are 20 pops right here. Hopefully we can get maybe a couple of these chases right here that Spectre don't have. I don't really care about glow in the dark chases. Not sure that he has that Dragon Ball one yet. Mm, I think we have that one. Let me get back over so you can see me. All right, so here's the box. We're gonna cut it open and we're gonna take a look at what we have inside. Let's see what we have inside again. I have this gut feeling this is the one where they repack them in a box together no matter how many you order. Which again, I can't express enough that I do not feel those are legit fair mystery boxes. Yep, and that's exactly what this is. So, somehow, some way, I ordered two mystery boxes, but they both got put in here. So I'm when you they when companies do things like that, what I view is Okay, you know what? Person A ordered two mystery boxes. All right, we'll give them one of these and one of the chases. But if they were random pre-packed mystery boxes, you could get two chases. You could get a top pull and something. I just feel, you know, it was a $12 mystery box. I think with shipping, with shipping it was like just under $32. So we're gonna go ahead, see what we got. I'm gonna need to make myself a note so I know not to order from Poptopia like this again. Uh, because, like I said, I don't believe these are fair, legit mystery boxes. They are both in here. Yeah, I think they they more get to choose what you get. So prove me wrong. Give me two chases or something. I don't know, but we all know that ain't going to happen, right? So we're going to pull out the first one. Neither one of them are obviously in pop protectors. All right, so that is your Poptopia card. All right, first one. Two stickers on here. And boom. Oh, oh, we got, I don't know that, you know what? I thought he had this one, but now that I'm looking at it, he may not have this one. I'll have to double check, but he may. But either way, it's a Dragon Ball Pop. So if we don't have it, it's a keeper for us. It is a glow in the dark. I, it maybe has a regular one if there's a regular one available. I have this whole theory about glow in the dark pops, just so everyone knows. If there's a common and a glow in the dark, I'm not gonna hunt for the glow in the dark because I don't sit around in the dark with the lights off, looking at my glow pops. It's just not something I do. So whether it glows or doesn't glow doesn't benefit me, just like a flock pop. I don't sit around feeling up my pops, so it being flocked doesn't benefit or not benefit me. Those are really minor things. I prefer when a mold is different or something like that for a chase. This one, this one has two stickers. Feels like two round stickers, so let's see. Boom! Oh, we got a chase! Now the problem is this is just a glow-in-the-dark chase, so there's nothing major. And what's funny, I believe I just got this pop, the common one and he didn't have it, so I know that he doesn't have this one, so I'll let him choose. I'm pretty sure he's gonna choose to keep the chase. Again, when they're glow in the dark, we don't keep both because there's nothing different about them except for one glows when you turn off the lights. I don't sit around in the dark and look at my pops. Just like when it's two pops that are exactly the same, one's flocked, one's not, I don't care about that either. But I can't complain, we got two pops from two animes that we do collect from. Uh, neither one of these are full force animes. They, he has a ton of them. But One Piece is the only one I believe that he's trying to keep complete right now. He did go through a phase like that with like the Dragon Ball. I mean, he has some massive pops in there. I know he has some really good My Hero pops too. I'm partial to Dragon Ball, but I know he's right now his thing is One Piece. But we are going to check value, okay? So, see, yeah, I guess he numbers them because I got box eight and two. I'm going to assume that that's how he does it, but I still think that, I still think that legit mystery box companies, just like us when we do mystery boxes, 
they should be packaged before you sell them. You yeah, know, just like these anime pops, you know, I, I don't complain when I get anime pops, but I'll be honest, I have a ton of anime pops in there because when I do mystery box runs, I try to limit like one, two, depending on how big the run is, maybe three, if the run is pretty good size, but I don't want to overwhelm the box with anime because I know not everybody carries anime. Anyways, let's go ahead and we're going to pull up HobbyDB because we do not use the Funko app. Like I said, HobbyDB isn't always correct either, but it does do better than the Funko app. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and check. Actually, it's funny. They're both going in the dark pops. This one is a Funko exclusive. It's the special edition sticker, so that means maybe it was a Hot Topic or Box Lunch, maybe? I don't know. We're going to scan it and see. All right, so there are two versions of this, obviously. Okay, so this was an Entertainment Earth exclusive, so there's a chance he may have this one since it's Entertainment Earth. This one being the glow in the dark is worth $15. Oh, wait, hold on. My bad. Hold on. Okay, well, it doesn't have a price for the one with the international um, sticker, but it does have one for the one with the Entertainment Earth sticker, and that's worth $15. So at this point in time, I will go ahead and give this a $15 value, even though those special edition stickers sometimes are worth more than the damn actual store stickers, right? Now we're going to go ahead. This is another special edition sticker with the glow in the dark chase. So let's go ahead and see where we fall here. And then again, he may be like, no, he doesn't want this one because the two stickers block the Funko. So he may be happy with just the common, but I'll have to ask him. See, I think they should put the stickers on the side or something. Cause like this, especially when they start, you can't see, all you see is stickers. All right, so this one is a chalice collectible. This one, it says it's worth $40. But again, it's not showing me the special edition sticker. Yeah, so that looks like that's the price. So I can't complain. I mean, this one looks like it has some value. And this one, so I did hit over what we paid. Uh, but either way, I don't think these, I don't know. Again, it's just a glow in the dark, but it still has value. So I'll see if Spectre wants either one of these. If not, they'll go probably on eBay because I don't usually do a lot of mystery boxes with. Maybe a chase one, but, you know, I don't usually do them with a lot of anime, unless they're really good anime. So I always want people to get their value out of the anime more than anything else, because I know there are people out there that just complain and complain. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I know there's people that would have complained they got two anime, I was okay with that. I was shooting for anime in this box. So actually, like I said, I may have got two keepers here. I just need to double check with Spectre. Again, I know he doesn't have this one because I just pulled the common from something else and I gave him that one because he didn't have it. And like I said, right now he's only focusing on some Dragon Ball and of One Piece. But My Hero, he's kind of let that go a little, so I don't know if he's going to continue to collect it or if he's going to want to get rid of the collection he has. I guess I will have to find out. Anyways, let me know what you think down below. Which one do you like better? Have you watched Dragon Ball or have you watched My Hero? Let me know down below. How do you feel about the glow in the dark pops? Do you sit around in the dark and watch your pops? How do you feel about the flocked pops? Do you sit around feeling up your pops? Just curious. Anyways, don't forget that comment could get you entered in a giveaway. And stick around. Check out my Patreons. They get something every month. Until the next one, keep on rocking.